How's it going everybody? Nick from Geek Gumbo and I don't normally do reaction videos but as you all know Nintendo revealed actually revealed the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo NX which is actually now officially called the Nintendo Switch so I'm gonna be uh, I haven't really looked at the trailer yet but I'm gonna watch it now as you can see I have it covered up with my uh, my head but uh, not my headphones <laughs> my um my web camera because of copyright reasons and whatnot and all that so um with that being said let's get started we're gonna watch this um we're gonna watch this trailer and i'm gonna give you my thoughts on uh the nx so i'm gonna mute my mic and uh actually no i'm not gonna mute my mic let's just let's just get on with it Okay, guys playing Zelda. Nintendo Switch. What? Wow, so apparently, uh, wow. Okay, that's just silly. Coming March 2017. Oh, Nintendo, why do you do this to me? Okay, so let's 
take it back and let's go back and look at some of the stuff that they I know my face looks really red right now because of uh, my screen so it basically starts as a guy he's in his house he's playing the new Zelda which looks fan fucking tastic by the way and he just gets up takes those takes those off and puts it on a screen that's attached to the system so I like that um Another thing that's cool to point out is uh, they were right about it being a, uh, a cartridge-based system. So that's going to be interesting to see, especially um, with games such as, like, uh, if you see right, as you see right here on the, um, he's on a plane, he's got, oops, no, no. He's got, uh, you know, he's got, that's one cool thing. It comes with a little kickstand built into the screen. It's got the headphone jack, and you can take the little things off the little uh the controller off of the side and play it wirelessly but uh this guy's playing skyrim like i don't know how a cartridge would be able to handle that i'm so i'm a little skeptical about stuff like that like you know and then of course there's going to be the pro controller which looks more and more like xbox controllers every year see i got mine it's starting to look more and more like xbox controllers <laughs> But I don't, I don't know. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to get in the hype. But there's all. This is also really cool. You can use these as two different um, joysticks or uh, controllers to play split screen multiplayer. As you see, these guys are playing Mario Kart. And uh, this is what I was laughing at. This this doesn't make sense. Okay, you're at you're, you're at a basketball court. You're playing basketball. Hey man, bust out the bust out the Nintendo Switch. Let's play. Let's play some two v two in an NBA game on the NX. That just doesn't make any sense to me. That just seems so stupid. But, I mean, it's a commercial, so, I mean, commercials can get a little stupid. And then there's, you know, this bitch right here. She's playing, and then her friend's like, come on, come hang out. Okay, let me just bring my Nintendo my Nintendo Switch and show off to y'all, and y'all can play it. So, yeah, and then this one is not as silly as the basketball one, but... I highly doubt people are going to be like taking it this seriously. Although I could be wrong. I mean, they're they're trying to show that Nintendo is trying to get more all into esports, so like they're planning out strategies for Splatoon and all that. Which, yeah. And then once again, going back to the whole, it's starting to look more like an Xbox controller. And then of course, coming March 2017, the red face again. Let's go ahead and minimize that. So. What? I don't know. I'm, I kind of want to get on the hype train. Whoops, no, I didn't want to do that. There we go. I kind of want to get on the hype train for it, but I don't know. I still need to see a little bit more on it. I need to see a price tag on it. If it's <coughs> considering it's going to be a cartridge based system, it's going to be a cartridge based system, and that's like the main thing for me. That since it's going to be a cartridge based system, if it has a price tag of over three hundred dollars, I'm probably not gonna get it at launch because of just just the simple fact that it's a cartridge-based system and you're gonna charge over three hundred dollars for it. And I already know they're gonna want to charge sixty dollars, especially for first-party games, for these little bitty cartridges, probably about the size of my 3DS cartridges. Um, I don't know if I want to get on the hype train just yet. I mean, it's exciting to see Nintendo um, moving forward, considering the Wii U, while it was a pretty decent system, didn't really sell very well because they just didn't know how to market it. I got a feeling this is the start of a better marketing campaign for this system. And I have to keep from my calling it the NX, because it's not the NX, it's the Nintendo Switch. So, I don't know... I'm I'm wait and see. It definitely looks like it's going to be a great system, but then again, so did the Wii U. Um, yeah, I just don't know if I'm going to get on the hype train just yet. Just yet. I don't know if I will be. But it does look promising. Um, one thing, like I said, the only thing that's basically nagging at me now is the fact that it's a cartridge-based system. And I mean, cartridge-based systems can be fine. I mean, look at look at the Nintendo 3DS and all that. But this is supposed to be a, a home console, or actually a home console 
handheld hybrid. So, like I said, I worry about like other like third-party developers. Like I said, I saw the guy playing Skyrim on this thing. I mean, I just get the feeling that like the graphics are going to be really, really dumbed down because they're going to be too much for the cartridge to handle. So, I'm I'm not knocking the Nintendo Switch. I'm actually I'm actually pretty excited, but I still gotta wait and see a price tag. I, I really do, especially when uh, it's coming out in March of next year. And uh, yeah, I just don't know. Maybe I don't know. It's gonna be a wait and see for me, guys. But I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, don't forget to. Like, comment, subscribe, all the other good stuff. And stay tuned for your weekly pot of geek gumbo. I'll see you all later.